<laughs> that hurt. <laughs> All right, welcome to the straight red card with your apparently sick host. Um, Singular gonna, host. Yeah, not you, me. <clears throat> but I'm, like I'm, bull. I don't get I'm gonna ba- I'm gonna battle through this. And uh, I know on Monday I said I felt like I got punched in the face 10 times. Still feel a little, you know, uh, tired, mostly. But um, anyhow, I'm not getting into the details of that crap. I I just loved how we we joked around about the fact that we were socially distancing ourselves. Well, (laughs) that's not a joke. It's actually true. Um, But, you know, I did. Um, what was the headline I saw on YouTube today? It was a, um, oh, it was a CBS here. I've got it. It was a CBS report and the report is CBSN. <clears throat> the headline is prosecutor who opposed co- uh, Rona vaccine mandates dies after con- contracting virus. Does that seem a little gloating? I mean, I don't care where you stand on mandates or whatever, but that's a really harsh that's a harsh subject line. That's like, ha ha, you died. Isn't that what that is? That's a glow. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what it feels like. And sadly, there's there's a lot of those out there. But prosecutor who opposed vaccine mandates dies after contracting virus. That's your headline. That's like in your face, chick. You just died. God. Lol. Can, can wrong we side be of history? Can we be? Can we be nicer to people here? Jesus Christ. I don't care where you are or what where you stand, but it's still a human life for crying out loud. Anyhow, um, so this is the midweek report, right? This is where I babble on and <laughs> you just interject. But and let's I talk do on Twitter. It. Yeah. <laughs> Cause this is from Tuesday through Friday. So we'll start with Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because not a whole lot went on. But way because Weya did not dress. Mm-hmm. Um, he's still injured. Musa got 70 in a win, though, for Valencia. 70. So that's good. Hoppy did not dress, of course. We still don't know where he's going. The rumors are Malaga. Other things happened today that might point to that being true. We'll get into that during the transfer section. Um, Dest did not dress. Lots of rumors <laughs> floating around there. Uh, of course. Um, and then I don't know if you heard anything more about that, but I have no action on transfer market. So not just I don't everything know. I've sent you. Yeah, Chelsea Arsenal, uh Bayern Munich. Um, not going in was, uh for Dest? Yeah. That was for Chelsea, the rumors. PSG, and Bayern. And Arsenal. And Arsenal? Oh, well, yep. again, we'll get into this. Yeah, later. Um, Armando Shashua, the brother of Samuel Shashua, played a cup game for Belarus, and they won in Spain. So, and if you you weren't uh, aware of that club, it is another, it's a division down um, from where Sam plays, but it's also where Sam um, went from Tottenham to Belarus to... um, See, my head's all screwed up to Tenerife, right? So Belarus in a lot of ways looks like they're kind of like these this team that feeds into Tenerife. I may be wrong, hmm. but I mean it, it's a, just an odd thing that Tottenham sent his older brother to Belarus, who then went to Tenerife, and then it looks like it's very likely that his younger brother now is going to go from Tottenham to Belarus to Tenerife. I'm probably pronouncing Belarus. It's probably like Belarus. I'm I'm guessing in Spain. Anyhow, who cares? Belarus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Belarus. Hell yeah! Hee haw! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Johan Gomez. I'm not sure if he's off the plane yet at Real Sociedad or not. Hmm. Um, but he didn't. He didn't dress in their last game. 
Um, Christian Pulisic played the last 10 for Chelsea um, midweek. And you, um, we got Jeremy Toljan, got the full 90 and a tie for Sassuolo. I know people are going to say, like, why do you keep bringing him up? It's just, it's just why no the fuck not? Why not? Because he's still eligible. Yeah. I mean, and he can play left back too. And that's not like a, you know, we're, we're not like 10 stacks deep, you know, at left back. Somebody wanted um, to uh, tag this video to Burhalter and USSF. Let's see if we can get them involved. Can we get a conversation going between <laughs> Burhalter and uh, Jeremy Toljan? Or can we get a single thing reporter, single reporter to ask him, hey, you know, guys are a little light on the left back. Have you considered giving uh, Jeremy Toljan a call? I mean, he starts almost every game in the Italian uh, uh, Serie A. Didn't, so, uh, didn't Brian come out the article talking about how he was qualified for U.S.? I think of somebody else. I think it was, yeah. So, but I mean, if maybe, you follow, maybe the maybe the next uh, maybe the January uh, pre-window presser, Brian can ask him. Hey, you know what? Left what? back's pretty thin, man. <laughs> I am going to text. I'm going to text Brian yeah. and ask him if he can ask that um, Greg that question, especially if um, Anthony Robinson goes down with an injury well, at any point. I mean, that, that would be a more insightful uh, a question than some of the questions we hear from the pressers where it's just like, well, so uh, what, what do you think uh, El Salvador is really going to do when they come out here? You know, they're going to handle the cold well. <laughs> you at, know, just... at least that's better than Greg. You had a great you played more players. <laughs> more young players and started more players than any. You have more wins this season than any other U.S. coach of all time. How does that make you feel? That was the ESPN FC gal. I don't know who she was. She was, that was the worst question I have ever, ever heard asked. And that's saying something. All right, so we move on because <laughs> Brian Reynolds did not dress, obviously, for Roma. Um, he's looking for a loan. I know we had talked about Ooh. Bruges, and now it looks like Anderlecht. Who knows? We'll just keep an eye on it. Weston, and he, that might have already happened, but by the time this show comes out, <laughs> let's be honest. Weston McKenney went 90 in a tie. Looked great. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Wasn't perfect. People are like, oh, you didn't look great. He did this. He fucked that up, too. Well, yeah, but Generally, he was everybody fine. fucked something up in that game. Yes, nobody yes. was perfect. And True. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. know. But anytime you say somebody did great, they're like, it wasn't really that great. It was more like a seven out of ten. I'm like, well, okay. who fucking who? That's fine. That's, I, you, that's I, usually seven, seven, and most most ten rankings, seven is generally one of the higher scores. Or they'll say they rated it a five or a six, and I rated it a seven or an eight. So I'm way yeah. off. Okay, yeah. well, we just have different rating systems then. Um, Conrad went 15. I, we told you not to worry about Conrad. Yeah. For Marseille. He's fine. That's about what he's going to do going forward. 15, 20, and an occasional start. Now, the interesting thing was that Bayern and Gladbach game today, where Bayern had 12 players out and uh, Gladbach had eight players out, some of them with Rona, I believe – I'm not sure if Scally was one of them, but the Rona's yeah. going around. Well, I mean, yeah, was uh, Scally, was Scally, Scally just came back from Rona, and then all of a sudden he was on. He was he was going to. I think it may have been what his first game back or something. I don't know. We well, wasn't on the roster, so yeah, no, no. So at all, it was funny. It was funny because uh, uh, he was listed as injured. He yeah. was actually. They're starting to list the Rona players, the Omni players. As injured now, I've noticed. In the well, I bet you, I bet you anything, it has to do with uh, the possibility of closing the league down for this variant for an extended period, and maybe, uh, maybe the league or the clubs came together. So we kind of stopped saying he has fucking Rona, man. Um, he twisted his ankle in practice. He can't play. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> a two-week. It was, it was a two-week injury for twisting his ankle. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe now they can just <laughs> officially list him as injured and not have to worry about, you know, outing don't, his status. Don't which close the league. Nobody's got Rona on our team, I swear. They're just out for five to ten days. I don't know what the legal standards <laughs> are in Europe. And, you know, um, when I worked um, for a certain company that worked with hospitals, I would have very important medical information from certain people as a partner of the hospital. And I couldn't, if that, those records got out there, it was my ass. 
I, my my would my job was done because the hippo laws. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what what they have in Europe and and in other places like England and whether they're not allowed to just say, yeah, the dude's got Rona or, or not. So. Um, so, yeah, that's a lot of players. That's literally hmm. half of Bayern's roster. And that is why. Uh, German-American Malik Tillman started the game for Bayern and went 75 at left wing. Young kid, his older brother we know, Timothy at Firth, and now he's now got a start for Bayern. They lost the game to Gladbach. So well, there good. was that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not a always big... looking at the bright side of life, I guess. You know? that, push, that pushes uh, Gladbach further away from relegation, and uh, you know Bayern took a hit. Yeah, and I mean Byron's got a they got enough of a cushion, they'll be fine. Um, Zach Stefan 90 in an FA Cup uh, performance versus Swindon Town, which he didn't get a lot of action. Um I'll Against say Swindon two, Town, really? No, but he gave up a goal that oh. I didn't I didn't think he really did well on cutting off the angle, frankly. Um, the guy was out wide right. And, I mean, he did blast it low, but he caught him short side, dude. Short side. You can't Keeper cannot let short side goals. I mean, you got to at least get a finger or a toe on it or something. Anyhow, there was that. And there was the <laughs> – in the first half, I think he passed it directly to a Swindon Town player who was so surprised and shocked to have the ball, he, he totally missed the shot. He flubbed it and – you know, from outside the box, but uh, so you know, was uh, was city, was city already up on that game at the point? Yeah, they ended up winning oh. the game four to one. Well, I mean, that was probably but, that was probably uh, some strategic uh, time wasting there. You know, I'm gonna kick it out of make <laughs> he's gonna fuck up the shot. That's another 30 to 40 seconds wasted. Golden, well, that's the thing about Stefan. Sometimes he's he, he tries to look way too comfortable with his feet on the ball in the back, even for the U.S. men's national team. And it makes me nervous. And I was like, did he just kick it to the Swindon well, Town player? Yeah. This, this may be this may be a, a generational thing in that sense. Because um, I, 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 I'm I paranoid when any keeper is really fiddling around with that ball. Well, you and I will be because of the generation <laughs> we're from. Exactly. Nobody, nobody expected our goalkeepers <laughs> – when we played to be skilled with their feet Scissor, in any doing scissors, you know, yeah. around the striker. Ah. <laughs> That's the reason they were goalkeepers. They were yeah. tall, big, lanky, and they had no footy skills whatsoever. Outside of punting a ball. Punting. That's what <laughs> and, and tossing a ball, you know. Um, so that's what all was expected in our generation. Yeah. A lot more now. Um, Davi Rodriguez, 65 for San Luis versus Pachuca. In Mexico, they lost the game, but he got 65. Hmm. It's a young American worth keeping an eye on. Samuel Shashua, 77 for Tenerife. He was replaced by Shaq Moore, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They don't play in the same position, but they were flip-flopping stuff around formations. So Shaq Moore got the last 13. So maybe he's not going anywhere. There were some um, little nibbits coming out of the Tenerife area press that were like oh yeah i had to translate them and they're like yeah shack moore might be we might be selling him but nope 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 um and you that's really <laughs> you don't ever know you don't sometimes yeah you think clubs are doing something for one reason and they're really not or a deal that you think is just like wolfsburg and peppy you think that's supposedly written in stone because some guy you know named Veth on transfer market says it's so, and it's not so. Um, so weird shit can happen. Um, so that's gonna do it. Man, that whew, this episode took a lot of energy out of me. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get to the next one. Again, thanks for uh, continuing to tune in. Make sure you like, subscribe. We've got uh, more stuff to go before the night is over. So on to episode or segment two. <laughs>